Hi, welcome today. We are in Sound Pure's Acoustic Showroom. I'm here with Sean, one of our acoustic experts, who's going to play a few passages and let us explore the XY recording technique in greater detail than we've, than we've done before. So, as you might be able to hear my voice reflecting the room, this is a very reflective room, both because of the hard walls, hard surfaces, and the instruments themselves that line the walls. So, this is a way for us to think about XY distance and the difference between direct sound coming off the instrument and reflected sound in the room. It's clearly one technique in XY to get a more like holistic blended sound of the instrument is actually backing away further from it because the further we back up the more holistic we get whereas if we get in really close we might be experiencing some pointillistic things happening off of the instrument. Now that can be interesting and great um, but clearly we're working this trade-off but as you get into a bigger more reverberant room um, or just a harder surface, more reflective room, um, what you'll experience is that as you get further away, um, you're actually picking up a lot of that room, and sometimes the room coloration can play a role in the, in the sound as well. So something you have to be really careful with. Um, so I guess for this purpose, let's, um, let's think about standard XY technique and distance, and let me put it in kind of a standard position, and then I'd like to actually back way up and then get up really close so we can hear how distance is playing a role in, in the sound. And then we'll try to figure out where the sweet spot is and, and dial that in. But yeah, so standard XY, let's go in the 90 degree, just make a nice right angle with the microphones, one head right above the other. We're gonna aim it right at the 12th fret, optimally where the neck meets the body, um, and, and, and do so in the sort of like 12 to 18 inch range. And let's, let's just start there. Go, go ahead, Sean, just give me something. So I'm gonna take it a hair closer now, and we're gonna get a lot more instrument as we get closer. Let me just lower this a bit. Okay, now we're, we're probably within a foot. Go ahead. Now roomy. Let's just see what happens back further in the room here. So that's actually, in a way, more representative of the instrument, but it's picking up a lot of room. So now I'm going to try to dial in kind of the right balance between intimacy of the instrument, enough holistic blend, um, but put it in a spot that's really sweet and letting the instrument speak for itself. And, and one thing I really like to do, go, go ahead, Sean. I like to move around and hear where it's speaking. Great. Where I've landed here is actually accentuating some of the low frequency crispness is actually happening kind of more in this range and also some of the sparkle that's happening in this part of the guitar while kind of avoiding the sound hole. So I have cheated the, the V a little in on the guitar, but again, 
not firing anything next to the sound hole where it's really a lot of acoustic relief out of the instrument. That is really never where, even though it's logical, it's like, let me put the mic in the sound hole. It's like sort of like, in many ways, the last place you want to put, put a microphone on an acoustic guitar in most cases. So I think this is, um, I think this is probably uh, the, 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 the best place we've landed so far. Let's roll with that. <laughs> 